The following video will contain imagery of me replicating the most annoying parts of your zodiac sign, whether it's accurate or not. That's for you to decide. We have officially reached 1 million subscribers. Give yourselves a round of applause. I know I'm a little late because I pre-record my videos. If you would like a $200 Amazon gift card, because who wouldn't, um, I'm giving away seven of them, click the link at the top of the description, enter in your email, and hit submit, and you will automatically be entered. What's up, guys? It's your girl, NT here, and that stands for Natalia Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon if you'd like to get that notification every time I post. I upload a new video every single Monday and occasionally on Fridays if I feel like it rarely. Once again, we have another video sponsored by the book Comfort, Peace, and Freedom by Ken Rusk. In case you didn't know, I actually know Ken. He's a really good friend of mine, but not only do I like him as a person, I really like what he's doing and what he stands for. He's a big supporter of our generation, and he's really into helping us figure out how we can be successful in today's world. And also how to think towards the future and set realistic, achievable goals for ourselves. He's the CEO of his own company, and he's honestly trying to help out as many of us as he can, which is why I really appreciate him and the reason why he wrote this book. You guys know I'm super picky about what I promote and share on my channel, and this is something that I actually believe in and can get behind, and we're working together to launch this book, and I would really appreciate it and consider it a personal favor if you would enter in your email and sign up for the notifications. So with that being said, you guys know that there are 12 zodiac signs that generally explain your personality and other traits about you. If you're not sure what your zodiac sign is, he here is a little chart for you to reference. And just like anything in this world, our zodiac signs have some good and some annoying. In this video, I'll be mainly focusing on the annoying parts. Shout out to my astrologist, Victoria, for helping me with this video. So without any further ado, let's get right into the annoying things about your zodiac sign. Bro, you are two hours late. I got caught at a light, okay? Weren't you supposed to go hang out with Brad today? I broke up with his ass. I don't need a motherfucking man in my life. Oh my God, <laughs> that's embarrassing. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> oh my God, that's Brad's car. Should we egg it? Oh my God, no, no, slash the tires. We got you something. What is it? You hate it. Oh my God, even better. Let's wait till he starts driving, jump in front of him and sue his ass. Hi. Oh my God. You're driving backwards. Bitch, are you driving? I honestly don't understand why you're in such a bad mood. My grandma literally just died. Do you listen to Kanye? Get that camera out of my face. You know, I hate being on camera. Come on. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're wearing? Yeah, you don't like it? You're going to an interview. Where have you been? You ghosted me for like two years. Well, I'm here now, bitch. Okay, I'm sorry about that, but like you're being a serious buzzkill right now and I need you to stop. I dare you to go climb that tree. Done. You know why I wear the color yellow? Why? Technically, it's the brightest color on the color spectrum other than white. And that means like psychologically, when people see someone wearing the color yellow, that means that their attention is drawn to that person. You wanna go run in the street? Are you hungry? I've got like a shit ton of food. Like if you're hungry, I mean, I will feed you if you're hungry. I've got pumpkin pie, I've got tortellini, I've got pizza. Like long story short, wearing yellow means that you can get further in life. I've got ramen, I've got salad, I've got carrots. Do you ever just like think about parallel universes and how like that stuff could be real and like every time we go to sleep we could be waking up every single day in a different parallel universe but we would never know because we don't know? I'm honestly so overwhelmed right now. I have to go get my mail. I have to go get gas. I have to get in the shower. I have to get dressed. <laughs> I spent my rent money on this Versace watch. I don't even care. And I got these gold earrings to match. Aren't these so cute? Yeah, but how much were they? Um, I didn't really look. 
Can I help you with that? No, I've got this. But you're definitely not okay. Oh, I love your outfit. That's cute. That's giving me like homeless, grungy, dumpster man vibes. I love it. What about this? They're getting worse. And yeah, so I was like, hold on. My landlord, hide, I, I'm late on rent, hide. Okay, you know I hate drama, but like for some reason drama just follows me. Like I understand that you have an opinion and you wanna post your opinion on Twitter, but listen, your opinion is fucking wrong. Why are you doing that? That's hot. Isn't that, isn't that hot? Is that not? No. <laughs> hey, can I sit in that chair? You literally got up an hour ago. Well, technically I got up, but that's like my chair. I mean, I only got up because I had to go to the kitchen really quick and get something to eat, but like that, that was the chair that I was sitting in. So like, can I sit in that chair? <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> What's wrong? I just reached a million subscribers, but I want five million. <laughs> but I don't understand. Whatever you're about to say, just stop saying it. You wanna tell me about loyalty and trust. You know I have trust issues. Oh, but go off, sis, go off. I honestly have so much respect for Jessica. I think she's a wonderful human being, but she's a fucking bitch. God, that's Jessica. Hey! So if Brad texts me, I'm going to ignore it for exactly 23 minutes so it seems like I'm busy and then I'll read it and not reply so it seems like I don't care. Aaron is seriously so hot. I mean, obviously I'm not a cheater. I wouldn't cheat on Brad, but like hypothetically, if I was a cheater, do you think I could get with Aaron? That's cute. Oh, you don't think I can actually end you? Honey, I will drag you. You have been canceled. Bitch, don't even get me started. Did you know that one and a half acres of the Earth's forest is being cut down every single second? Every second. I thought you were my friend. Don't you understand anything about trust? You're not supposed to be hanging out with them. Don't you know she cut me off in traffic five years ago? Do you know anything about loyalty? Canceled. Can't be hanging out with them, dude. Bad luck. I'm honestly so stressed out right now and I don't know what to do about it. Why? Because I'm trying to relax, but then I'm stressed because I'm not working on what's making me stressed out. Does that make sense? Canceled! Did you know that 90% of global warming has been caused by humans since the year 1950? Educate yourself. This is it, this is the one. You're literally in your pajamas. Who are you texting? Chad. Don't you mean Brad? No, Chad. Well, what happened to Brad? Where are you going? Thailand. Why? You wouldn't understand. But like, that's my chair and people know that that's my chair. You may not know that that's my chair and that's totally cool, but like, oh my God, Brad's coming over. Oh my God. He's gonna be here any minute. He said he was on his way. What are you wearing? Oh my God. Hold on. Put this on. Did you know that like aliens actually come and visit us in our dreams? I'm not even kidding. I mean, I don't understand why, like, you can't just let me sit in my chair. Like, that's my chair. <laughs> Can we watch Jeffree Star? What are you even doing? Hey! Hey! Ow! How is Thailand? It's great. I'm just so much more woke now. Dude, I know you're really stressed out. I mean, life is overwhelming, but personally, I think you should really try, you know, clearing your mind, clear out your life, maybe try minimalism. Dude, you're literally a hoarder. I am the most humble person you've probably ever met, but honestly, I'm the shit. You wanna go to Wendy's? I'm a vegan. Right, me too. Chad keeps hanging out with Lauren and I think it's because she has bigger lips than me and I've been contemplating getting Juvederm. Do you think that's a bad idea? You're right, that's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. Oh my God. 
Oh my gosh. I honestly, this is gonna sound bitchy, but I have way too many friends and this is like so overwhelming. Like I seriously can't keep up with everyone that wants to be in my life. <laughs> Do you care if I play a song? You're honestly really starting to stress me out right now when you're really hurting my heart. Like you're hurting me physically. Like my heart hurts right now. I need to call my mom. So we're going to your house, right? Yeah. Okay, just follow me. You don't know where I live. Yeah, I get that, but like, just follow me. <laughs> mom! So I think the reason I don't have any friends is honestly because a lot of people in this world are threatened by success. And that's just a sad fact. I literally feel like my entire life has been a waste. Dude, you're literally a YouTuber. That's been your dream since you were little. Waste. Mom! I don't have any friends. Okay, so now that we're going to Olive Garden, I'm starting to think that maybe we should have gone to Five Guys because I really want a burger. Are you good with that? Because, I mean, I want Olive Garden, but I also kind of want Five Guys. So I know your dog just died and you failed your exam and you got fired from your job and your mom kicked you out, but I want you to know I'm here for you. I don't trust nobody and nobody trusts me. I really want my eyebrows to look like this. Do you think, do you think that's a good look? Should I do my eyebrows like this? Did you know that if every single person in the world started reusing their toilet paper, we could end global warming by the year 2027? Is that even accurate? Can you put my gas? I don't know how to do it. Do I still look good? I still look pretty. My life is honestly, so hard but i'm still my number one fan though <laughs> so there you guys have it those are the annoying things about your zodiac sign i hope you enjoyed this video <laughs> don't forget to click the link at the top of the description enter in your email and hit submit in order to win one of these seven 200 dollars amazon gift cards but i really want you guys to know that if you watched this video and you saw your zodiac sign and you were like Hmm, can't relate. Um, you are way more than your just basic zodiac sign because like I mentioned before, you have a full natal chart based on your time of birth and location and everything. But if you're into it and you wanna know your full natal chart, hit up Victoria and don't forget to click the link in the description, enter in your email and sign up for the book notification. Victoria informed me that this month Mercury is in retrograde, which in astrology terms means life is shitty this month. <laughs> so I decided I wanted to do a lighthearted, funny skit video and not get too attached. And as it turns out, this video has been one of the craziest, most time consuming videos that I've ever made. But anyways, guys, I hope you liked it. And let me know down in the comments, was I accurate about your zodiac sign? Thank you so much for watching and thank you for 1 million subscribers. But I really hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. Bye. Congratulations. Mm.